Previously on The Sims 2 PSP, we get a maid and I can see dead people. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming of a let's play. Hey guys, I'm Beta Man in Command, and I just had chapstick on my lips, and after an hour or so, it just feels weird. It's like you have artificially dried lips or something. But actually, it solves the feeling of dried lips. Anyway, so let's continue on from where we left off. So we shall just probably customize the spiritual estate a little bit, put some furniture here and there and what's not and what you might call it. Talk to the maid, actually, and probably go outside. Actually, I really want to check uh, that grave site in the middle of the street. Yes, that one that I told you about earlier in a previous episode. Alright. Doors magically open. We got eight eight hundred um, dollars, so let's see if we can buy something that's probably gonna help us in our little quest here. Welcome to the buy mode telephone catalog. You can use your handy dandy user friendly interface to buy, place, and customize all the furniture in your home. To buy new something new. Move the cursor to an empty spot on the floor and press X to bring up the catalog. To edit an existing play piece of furniture, seriously that looks like an L from where I'm looking at it. First press X to select it, then move it around, redesign it with a circle, rotate it with the left and right bump, um, button, <coughs> buttons, excuse me, and then place it on the, by pressing X. Some items need to be placed on walls. Move the cursor against the wall to highlight it. To sell it, press the piece of furniture. Select it and press square. All right, that's the, pretty much the basics of buy mode. And all right, it starts off on our carpet. Let's see what we can do here. I actually want to buy a. That's um, kitchen stuff. That's plumbing stuff. That's doors. This, I think this is the the one that increases our stats. I think we have already have a mirror. Nope. This one increases our logic creativity. Where's the TV? I really need the TV. Oh, they really place the cheap looking glass and the more expensive looking glass <laughs> beside each other. gonna help us soon where's the TV at the TV is the most basic necessity of a certain human being and I want it on my house in my house actually use the wrong word all right this one recycling bin red 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 all right tables miscellaneous stuff here we shall see how come there's no background music here there should be background music while you're selecting from the buy for the buy catalog like every game every game has that Morocco top to look out the con charisma I really don't need a very expensive I know oh you you really need to put it on the, the indicator on the foot on the wall first before doing that Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put it here. There you go. Alright, let's place it there. Lost a hundred simoleons, but we shall buy something else. Else. Maybe the TV is in here. Nope. Though a sofa would be pretty nice. Utopian bench. Let's just go cheap mode in this one. Can we change colors? Nope, we can't change colors. Too bad. Actually, let's, let's place it near the wall first because I'm gonna buy something that could increase our logic quite a bit. Now let's see, let's see this one. This one looks promising. Oh, we can change the color. That's nice. Alright. 
the, the, bl the black's fine. It's, wait. Um, fuck. Medicine cabinet. Okay. Doesn't fit because it's on the floor. And what? I'm gonna put the medicine cabinet right where it always should be. Near a sink. There you go. That's gonna help us in our upcoming job. Alright, complete an aspiration goal. And what are goals? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what? I'm gonna chat with the maid first. No, 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 no. Greet. Social game, chat. At least our, some of our needs will be fulfilled here. Okay, good talk, maid. Oh, the maid likes video games. That's. Oh, actually, she doesn't really like video games. She just had a, the icon for a choice. And she just probably thought of it. Oh, she's interested in traveling. You know, have you. Did you know that I just traveled to America, maid? I did. And I bought a book too. Probably actually five books. Three are actual novels and two are mangas. Pretty interesting stuff, I know. Actually, I'm not very technical with my hands per se, maid. Very horrible at it during high school. Uh huh. Okay, so I failed that one. At least did uh, my needs. Nope. All right. Well then, I shall. <laughs> Should go get some rest then. Sleep, my sweet. Yeah, see, really, whoa, nice hippie underwear there, buddy. Let's see how high I'm. Okay, my, my Z's, Z's. It's a very actual. Ooh, what's this? What is that? If it tells me to go and spend something, I'll be really pissed. Because I just spent something that should just already count. Oh, okay, so... Uh, also note, if you um, sleep on a bed, your needs will be refreshed, as in it will be reshuffled into other stuff. So, yeah. Fuck. I just said something I didn't really ha I'd hate to do. Alright, so let's go outside. Okay, actually, you know what? Let's redecorate a bit. Let us redecorate. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We'll do that off screen. Perhaps. I don't know. Probably after this recording, I'll just redecorate. Re reticulating spines. The, the loading screens in, in this game are actually quite humorous if, you don't, if you're not tired of looking at them. Let's go see if we can pick up some trash over here. Sounds good. Pick it up. And also, every time you get here, you will probably hear that music. Uh, the truck. I see. Actually, let's go see what this thing is. I already told you what I know this this place is. What this thing is, uh, it doesn't really say. All right, fine. Let's go talk to Duncan, our lovey pie, sweetie pie, honey poo. Where are you? Ah, that rhyme. Oh well. Hi, hello. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm looking for the cop. Okay. Hello, officer. We need to talk, Duncan. You've been cheating on me, haven't you? Mm, I'm reserving judgment until I've seen a bit more of it. My thoughts, exactly. You know, we've been having a bit of a trouble here lately. What kind of troubles? Is it really bad or kind of good trouble like strippers? All kinds of trouble. You want to hear about the graveyard or the garbage man? I don't know, they both sound so fascinating. Well, I'll start with the garbage man then. Okay, your words. He's missing. Miss, and that's not bad. God, haven't you noticed all the trash lying around? I can't find him for the save of my life. Well, I actually thought that you people are just messy. That's what I thought. I have no idea. But if you find him, you should tell him to get back to work. His name's Jimmy... Gimme Branco. Jimmy, Gimme, I don't know how to pronounce that. If someone could... Who happens to know how to pronounce this particular name, go ahead and tell me. Where should I look for the missing garbage man? If I knew that, do you think he'd still be missing? Maybe not. 
What about your graveyard problem? Problem. I went Asian there for a sec. Oh, this whole neighborhood was built in a graveyard. Isn't that kind of disrespectful? Like, don't um, Native Americans find that disrespectful and they haunt you for the rest of your life until you get off their land for some reason? I actually thought of that because I watched I watched the killing. I really don't know where they're going with the series, but still, it's really it's still interesting for a second season. Like Lie to Me, Lie to Me was a pretty fairly decent second season. They just missed out on the government stuff like in the first season. But anyway, moving on. Tell me about it. The dead around here are really ticked off too. How can you tell? Like they send you mail or they prank you badly? Because I gotta spend every night here sticking them back in their graves. They get out of their graves? Of course. Wouldn't you? If someone built a house on your head? I guess so. But it just depends on how they make the house. I'd probably tell them, Okay, hey, congratulations on the new house. Or, dude, your floor needs work. Hey, if you want to make some money, come back here anytime and pick up that shovel over there. Uh, thanks, I guess. Oh, well, that's everything. Oh, and if you can pick up some of this garbage while Jimmy is away, you'll give me money? Ha! <laughs> that's a good one. Selling garbage to a cop. Who would think of... Who would think of a thing like that? Try saying shopkeepers. There's our siphon program, they can make a nice profit. Okay, thanks! At least my uh, very OCD-ish method of having garbage is kind of profitable. And I got five simoleons left, so that's a good thing. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh, wait. I see a big cockroach. Wait a sec. Wait a sec, folks. Wait a sec. I shall handle the problem first. Now I really can't concentrate because that cockroach is around here somewhere and I have put my feet up from the floor. I really don't like insects. Particularly the cockroach. Because it's a dick. Sometimes. Okay, let's continue. So we are, we are trying to take a look, see over here. Level 1. Alright, the zombies only come out at night. Come back between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. All right. Well, we're just gonna have to walk around a few times. Let's see if there's any more garbage around here. I'll probably go back to Mumbaloa and sell some of my trash. At least my os my character's OCD-ish attitude on trash is gonna be very helpful on bringing me some money. Secrets about monsters. The original boogeyman had a condition that made him secrete snot from his sweat glands. Well, actually, I know a, a certain kind of boogeyman, but he doesn't have snot secreting from the from his sweat glands. Ew, that's just disgusting when you think about it. All right, it's ten o'clock. I just I'll just pick that one up and pick the secret and go back and go to work. Pick that up. Let's just accomplish that. Secrets of the undead. The living dead prefer to use the more inclusive term, respiratory challenge. Actually, they're not res respiratory challenge because you don't have lungs, so yeah, good work there, buddy. Oh, more, more, more trash. It's gonna be very helpful. Helpful to me. I need all the sense that I can get. Level 1. So this is gonna be the first of many jobs that we'll be encountering in this game. Aha, I found you, cockroach. Whew! Alright, took care of their cockroach problem. I stomped on it numerous times, sprayed it with bug spray, and probably over overdid it. You know what? Col Colin Farrell's... No way. Will Farrell. I'm sorry, I mistook the other Farrell by the other. I'm actually thinking of some if someone actually makes Will Farrell's commercial on SNL about how to punish cockroaches properly. Someone would actually buy it. That would be me. Anyway, fucking cockroaches, they're dicks. So this is one of the very one of the mo many jobs we'll be encountering in this game. Mostly they'll be rhythm based. So this is gonna be well, this one is not rhythm based. Just pro probably whack a mole with zombies in a cemetery with the mallet. All right. So let's see this description. 
The data rising from their graves to scare you. Each grave corresponds to a button. When you see a zombie, press the correct button to smack it with your shovel. If you hit an empty grave, your shovel gets stuck. So watch out for ghosts. Your shovel passes right through them. Try to hit stinky zombies for a bonus. And if you want to survive the stench, go for the iron stomach perk. I think you can buy the stomach perk in the menu, but we'll do that later after we're done because we don't even have any money. Alright, so this is it. The moment of truth. So there's five buttons, one finger for me. And that's what happens. If you manage to um, not hit an empty grave, you will get more zombies to pop out. It just comes to the very point where you have to make a priority of which one is uh, getting out faster. And it's very costly if you miss. Okay, I think I'm earning $20 by them. Or $10 per se. $10 per whack. So it's still it's still a very profitable game. I mean, occupation. And I'm actually wrong. It's a shovel, not a mallet. Oh, snap. I could have whacked that one made it much more um, great great job just trade up your skills a little more and you'll earn a promotion see the job asset screen for details sweetness we got 240 dollars down the drain i mean down in our pockets if i said drain that meant i'm quite a spender and i need to throw up right now and sleep i need some sleep i need some sleep Alright, so we have demoed the first occupation that we'll be encountering. I think we can actually still do some some more, but I'll do that off screen so that we can get at least at least have more money. So till then folks, guys and girls, I shall see you next time in the next part of The Sims 2 PSP edition. Till then, stay groovy. Wow. I think I took that from someone too. Anyway.